Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Hack Power Noob! And welcome to Skylander Ring of Heroes. Yes, that's right, Skylanders. You know, that game where you have yeah, Sky you yeah, Spyro. People thought that they're gonna be an actual Spyro game, but it's just Spyro and a couple of heroes, and then you can have and you yeah, yeah, the game where it's like amiibos, but you get toys and you just put them in and then you basically play that toy that you get for Skylanders. Yes, that's the game. And also, don't forget the Netflix special or TV series. Yeah, that's Skylanders game. And welcome. Yeah, I was just doing a lot of church at her. But uh, yeah, welcome to Skylander Ring of Heroes. Now this is made by the, the team Come To Us, and that's the same team that did the game for Summer's Wars. And for you guys that know Summer's Wars, it's a very popular game. So Come To Us had the money to pretty much make a new game. And that's basically, and, and yeah, they brought out, you know, Summer's War had a baby and just spewed out an egg and brought us Skylanders. So let's jump into the game and so and ugh, I don't know what I'm saying. Jump into the game and let me show you what the game is like in combat. So pretty much you're gonna jump into a, a a little campaign here. So when you show the game, you wanna set up your, your squad. So you say so a three, three to choose from, and you basically pick your main and for spectator, spectator is when you pick two two units and it's best to use use the weak ones because because when you complete a mission you gain experience and once you get experience they gain experience too even though they're not in combat but they gain experience as well and for your companion your companion is your, is your support and right now i only got two different companions but i want to stick with this one because this companion can help me heal uh whoever had the lowest hp so let's go ahead and jump in here on the save and so before you actually jump into the game you also have the different elements. So you have dark, light, magic, undead, air, fire, water, life, earth, and tech. And of course you guys know the red arrows pretty much show what that element is weak against. And the blue and green arrow shows you what it's strong against. So there you have it. The element relations. So let's jump in here. I got the game of auto. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to take off auto, I'm going to just kind of let it play out. Because the gameplay is actually pretty simple. So pretty much it's turn-based. And so every hero has two skills. And every cost of that skill has a mana cost. And you can see them below, you have 10 orbs of mana to work with. So pretty much you basically just use a skill. And you basically just make sure that you keep track of uh, of, of, your, of your mana use and then also your, your skill cooldowns as well but all these moves are pretty much infinite so like you don't look like had to pick three different moves you can actually just kind of stick with just one skill with that person the whole way through I mean, the only thing that's stopping you is just the mana cost and your skill cooldowns now as you can see on the bottom right you can see my little avatar you can customize different kind of avatars so you it can, can be a girl, it can be a guy, it can be African American, it can be Caucasian. Those are the only two races that they have. And you can also change the hairstyle and everything like that. So next to my companion, is, next to my avatar is my companion right there. And you can summon them in battle in case they're in a tight spot or whatnot. And there, there he is right there, my companion, my little, my little broccoli guy right there. So he's gonna heal hopefully soon maybe no no okay well on the left is my wildfire he's pretty much kind of like my tank then i have a spiral apparently spiral is apparently a defensive character apparently. i thought he'd be like a tag or something and then of course there's my stealth my stealth elf which is my dps right there so she does a lot of damage then there's broccoli guy broccoli guy is ready to heal with the fruits and veggies right now healing my stealth elf oh yeah but yeah guys that's basically the game so some people may like how the gameplay looks some people may not uh, some people will say that it's kind of like a kid like a child kid friendly version of summer's ward and i mean i mean they're not wrong but at the same time man, i don't really quite understand the difference when they say it's a kid friendly version of summer's ward i mean there's really quite well 
I take it back. There may be some suggestive outfits that some of us will have, even if the graphics are a bit terrible. They're not terrible, it's just they're outdated graphics, but anyway, the game was out for a long time. But anyway, I'll say more about it later. I'll rant about it later. But right now, let's focus on the game since it's over. Okay, so now that you got a good taste of what the combat is like, you can also build cities or structures, should I say. And you can, of course, find that in the shop. But you're going to want to focus more on just the on just the structures that help you gain more more uh, resources. And of course, you, you, have the, you can expand too. So basically, the same thing that you can do in Summoner's War. I don't really quite worry so much on the trees because the trees are just for decoration, they're for show. And you have your guild. You can choose to be in the guild or not. I choose not to be in the guild at the moment because I don't know whether if I want to if I want to commit to the game just quite yet. I'm just kind of just just giving you guys my take. But not look at my take. But I'm just showcasing you guys the game or whatnot. And you have duels and your challenges, and your challenges is pretty much when you pretty much just kind of um, complete challenges, and you get you, you get uh, some more resources such as jewels or uh, some kind of ore or whatnot. <laughs> not very good at explaining yourself, Ian. I know I'm not doing very good job of that. Yeah. Um, we'll go to your Skylanders. So Skylanders here, your Skylanders right here. I got a, I, I just now got a five star. Skylander, which is Stormblade. Stormblade looks pretty cool, I want to say. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the design. I mean, like I said, I like the graphics and how well Come to Us did compared to Summer's War. And I'm, I'm going to do a lot of comparison to Summer's War because, I mean, that's, that's basically what it is. So, you have your skills, you have your stats, your skills here, and you can actually, uh, uh, yeah, you actually power up your skills. And that's where the, the challenges come in. You know, you, you get resources to you can upgrade stones so you can upgrade these skills here. And, and they're passive skills too. And here you can power up. And the only way you can power up is by getting fragments, by summoning them. And oh, of course, doing the, <clears throat> the dungeon, which is the distorted dimension. And you can get elixir that way. And then once you power them up, once you get all the stuff for it, then they basically hit plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five. And then once you hit the plus five, with the max level included, you can evolve them. And they come from five star to six star. Next up is Awakening. I haven't really quite went into, into, I haven't really quite went down into Awakening to learn about it. But pretty much, it's pretty much the same as, uh, as Evolution. But these guys just look for these, you can, you can look for these materials in the dungeons. And once you get the materials, then yeah, bam. You awaken your hero, your hero gets a new look, everyone's cool, everyone's happy. Then you have your runes. I'm not a big fan of the rune system, and that's one of the reasons why I don't play much of Summer's War, and that's also another reason why I quit playing Knight's Chronicles. I'm not really quite a big fan of the rune system. So yeah, you can basically just equip these runes here, and actually, um, I like to pick runes that are that, that basically focus on the skill of my of my Skylander. So I kind of just kind of threw out two random runes here that I didn't even bother to look at. So attack, yeah. So yeah, we're going to keep that on there because you are an attacker. So yeah. So that's that. So uh, yeah, and right here is right here is where you find the distorted dimension here, right there, and here's where you go to. The Spring of Souls. The Spring of Souls is uh, yeah, where you're gonna summon. Yeah, that's basically where you where you summon your heroes. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. So um, let's go ahead and jump into some arena. And after you do arena, then we'll do some summons, and that'll be it. So right here, you got PVP, and then you got PVE. Friendly matches your PVP. So you basically just find a friend, ask them to see if they want to join in, and you do quick match, private match, whatever to your liking. And yeah, so that does PvP, live action PvP. Here you got your arena, which is PvE. So once you jump in the PvE, championship ring isn't available yet, but anyway, back to arena. So PvE, once you click on duel, you basically pretty much just go to your list of opponents here. I lost one, but well, this guy, Stone Raider, was stronger than me. I lost, and we had a pretty close match, but he didn't know. Or they didn't know that I was that good to do so. 
<laughs> anyway, so once you complete your first five, your first five arena matches, your victories, you get these chests here, and then your chest will be arena medals. And you go to your arena shop to pretty much just exchange them for some, some. Oh gosh, I forgot. <laughs> exchange them for fragments and omni gems. So we'll deal with two matches. Because these are probably the only two that I'll be able to win for today. So let me go ahead and show you the combat. They have some pretty cool heroes. But they're gonna feel the might of my Wildfire, Spyro, and Stealth Elf. The Chain of Fire, got the Wag Attack going on, okay. Nice little bit of damage. Now, when they charge up like that, I don't know what that is, but it looks intimidating. My stealth oh, took a lot of damage, my goodness, I did not know that. Okay, so they summoned their companion, and so do we. So let's go. You got a strong, strong skyline right there. Fruits and veggies, let's go. Why would we have the companion? No, stealth elf, survive. Blast them. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. Shout out to Chive on FLBP. Don't know what those abbreviations mean, but I'm not going to find out why. So, yeah. All right, let's do one more match, and then we'll do some summons, and then that'll be it. Now, I will tell you this. Whoa, level 40? Whoo! Hold up, I don't know if we'll be able to win this. I didn't even bother to even look to see if, um, what the power level was. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get wrecked. Hold up. Do some decent damage. Oh my gosh. That hurt me. Dragon's fire, quick. Oh no, my stealth elf is forever gone. Oh gosh, I'm panicking. Oh. Alright, well, they lost their. And we just lost. Our, we just got our companion and he just died. Wow. Yeah, there was a one sided fight to begin with. Ooh, man, we got destroyed. I just rushed in. I didn't even bother to do my research on this person. So, yeah, so that's it. One on one. That's all I can do for you guys. That's it. That's all I gotta show for you guys. Okay, so we're gonna jump into some summons. Now, when you do summons, you're going you're not gonna be getting like you're not gonna be getting your Skylander right on the spot. So when you summon, you'll be getting them in fragments. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a, a ultra premium. Now, you do have event summons where you can pretty much just get the the uh, the the hero that you want with uh, specific elements, but we're not going to do that. I want to be surprised whether what kind of element I get or whatever. And once you do, once you do the multi summons, you will have a chance to get like a crit, and it's basically where you have a chance on getting more than more fragments than you than, than, than the normal get. So like say like you get a spiral and it's like one you get five fragments of it. Suddenly lightning strikes, bam, they give instead of five, they give you like 35. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what they give us. Alright. Boom, we got a wildfire. Awesome. I'll take that. Another spiral which I was just talking to you about. Chop scotch. Rocky, Rocky Roll. Ooh, what's this? Mr. Cat. I, I, I have you, but I don't actually have you yet. Gorilla Drilla. Got you as well. Light Jet Vac. Ooh, let's see. There we go. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? And so once you do get the fragments for all the fragments for that Skylander, just go ahead and just summon that bad boy up there. And you get an animation showing you your nice reward. Your little Skylander right there. And then you have it. Okay, so let's do. Do oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. Do one more summon, 
and then that'll be it. Here we go. Got a big one. That Kingpin. Ooh, the 43. Yes, I like that. Thank you. Another spiral. Cinder. Gil Grunts. Blackout. Oh wow, I never had two uh two pings in one before. Ooh, we were so close to getting Kingpin too. But okay, well. Yes, yeah, so let's claim it now. What do we get? We get a sprocket. 40 fragments. What is she? Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, we got Sprocket, four star, she is support, awesome. Okay, guys, well, that about does it for Skylanders Ring of Heroes. Now, once you do get your, oh, before you, before you summon them, but yeah, once you do get the fragments of them, they will say, like, right, instead of potions, they'll say summon. You know, when you summon them, and bam, there you go, you get to summon. Now, to actually power them up as well, or um, increase their XP, you do have red potions and blue potions. Now, once you go to potions, you get red potion that will level them up. Actually, no, I use my storm blade. Okay, so you get red potions to use, and of course, heroic is the extra large, where you get lots more XP than all the other ones. And this bridge just go ahead and throw it in there and let the XP go. So instead of one, there's three levels up. And as for your companions, they have blue potions. Yeah, so yeah, blue potions to level these bad boys up. So I'm going to just throw in some potions here and let it be level 20. So I'm going to have me a nice, strong, not going to make it to level 20, nice, strong, broccoli guy. Yeah, there we go. I might just do more for for this game later on. So I might do another video, but it's going to be just PvP though, because you know how I am. I like doing PvP videos. So that is it guys, if this game is to your liking, definitely check it out, like I said, the game just came out, I should have said it before, the game just came out this week, so the game is super new, but it is free on the Google Play Store, so check it out if you're interested in it. But anyway, that's it, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely click the like button, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, more videos are coming your way here soon guys, alright, so that is it, Hack Power News, signing off, peace. Thank you.